there YouTube. So I'm here with a products that I've repurchased video. One of the girls that I'm always chit-chatting back and forth with asked if I could do a products that I've repurchased video. Now, having a makeup addiction, it's very hard to talk about makeup products that you've repurchased because most of the time you're, you've purchased something new and dandy and great and you really haven't gone back to purchase something that you already own or that you've already used. You really have to like it in order to repurchase it. So there's very few items that I have repurchased that belong in my stash or that will stay in my stash. But there's very few items that I have repurchased that are actually beauty items. But I do have a few and so I just wanted to show you those few items that I have repurchased. And then I have one that's an or two that's kind of non-makeup but they are beauty type items. So I'll start with those first. The first one I will talk about is the, and it's mine is very dirty, is the Real Techniques um, Beauty Blender beauty blender dupe or whatever. This is my second one and I have purchased this for my little sister. I have talked to my older sister about it. I've just told them, you know, if you use liquid foundation, go pick that up, give it a try. I know you'll like it. And so that is the first thing that I have repurchased. So for $5.99, you can't be having a beauty blender dupe that's pretty much the consistency is pretty much just like the Beauty Blender. The only difference between the Beauty Blender and the Real Techniques sponge, you have it, a slanted edge here and then you have your pointy end that my daughter has managed to demolish. But this is the Beauty Blender. And I do like the Beauty Blender, but it's not something I think I would repurchase. I think I would just go back and get my Real Techniques. So like I said, this is my second one and I have purchased one for my sister. It's something that I recommend to everybody, especially, you know, people that are not into beauty like we are. So that's one of my, you know, repurchased items. Another one that's beauty but not makeup related is this Clearasil Daily Clear Hydro Blast Oil Free Pads. <clears throat> Now, on those lazy nights where I just use a wipe on my face, uh, a makeup wipe, oh, that would be another one that I've repurchased. I repurchased these new Kajina ones. I get them all the time, and I got, like, a set from Costco. The thing I don't like about this is, look, my little sticker has managed to fall off. So, that's the thing I don't like about it, so really I didn't think about to put it in this video, but I always repurchase those makeup wipes. Anyhow... This, um, so on lazy days when I've just used my makeup wipe and I'm like, my face needs to be a little bit cleaner, I will take this Clear Cell Daily Clear, Daily Clear Hydro Blast Oil Free Pads. Now, this does have salicylic acid, and people will tell you don't use salicylic acid because it will dry out your skin, which is true because it's meant to dry out acne. I don't find that this dries out my skin at all. So, um, you know, it's something that I like. I actually love the smell on this, the smell is really nice. These are probably $5.99, $4.99 for a set of 90 pads, so I really do enjoy this. And I also bought, this is my second one, and my husband also has one of these on his uh, sink, or by his sink, so it's something that I repurchased for both of us. Okay, now makeup items. The first thing I will talk about is this Rimmel Match Perfection, and I have this one in light and this one in light medium, and I have already gone through one full light already. I've already gone through one, so then I went back and repurchased light, but then I went ahead and purchased, no, I think I purchased light medium because they didn't have light at the time, and then when I found that they had a light, I went back and repurchased another one. So this is just a concealer, and it comes in a brush, and you just squeeze it up and you, you know apply it. I really do like this. It blends in. It has kind of a pinkish tone to help brighten, and that's what it says, a uh, two-in-one concealer and highlighter. So this is something that's inexpensive, and you can find it at you know, the drugstore, anywhere that Rimmel sold, and it's a good product. So this is something I have repurchased, and if I run out of this, I will repurchase it again. So, all right, something that I did like, I had gotten the sample size of this High Beam, Benefit High Beam. I went ahead and bought the full size, We've seen this before. It's just one of those liquid highlighters. It's a pink tone. It comes like a nail brush. You just dab it on and then blend it in and it leaves just a beautiful sheen. Look at that. So um, this is something that I, you know, really do enjoy the Benefit High Beam. Something else that I've repurchased, this is my second Clump Crusher. I really did enjoy this. The other one dried out after using it for many months 
And so I use this, and this is in the waterproof version. I take this and put it in my make work, uh, makeup bag for work because I do work outside and I will sweat or get rained on or whatever. And this never smears, smudges, flakes underneath my eyes. So I really do like this. I don't currently have one right now, but the CoverGirl Lash Blast, I think I've gone through three or four of those tubes. But I just don't currently own one. But it's something that if I run out of some of my... I have a bunch of mascara right now. So if I run out of that mascara, if I run out of some more of those and I find the CoverGirl on sale, I will go and buy it because the Lash Blast is an amazing product. I always use the waterproof version just because I, I like it better to hold my curls. It doesn't flake. It doesn't smudge. It doesn't budge. It's sweat proof, waterproof, whatever. I really do like the CoverGirl Lash Blast, but also this Clump Crusher is something that I've repurchased, so I happen to have it on hand, and that's why I'm showing you. This is going to um, go in my makeup work bag right now, because I just took out the last mascara that's kind of dried up. So this is going into my makeup work, my work makeup bag, and it's something that I always repurchase. If you want to get particular, I have repurchased the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Pencils over and over and over again. This one happens to be Perversion. I've gone through several of the Zero. I just happen to like it. I know that they're cheaper like Zero, um, excuse me, like NYX has kind of dupes for the Urban Decay, but NYX doesn't come out with beautiful sets like Urban Decay does. So the 24-7 Glide-On Eyeliners, I repurchase these all the time. So that's kind of... There are other items that I could probably repurchase instead of those, but I get those because Urban Decay always has great packaging and always puts them together, you know, some really nice uh, sets, beautiful colors. So I always repurchase the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Eyeliners. Wow, that's a lot. Okay, so... This here happens to be my third Laura Geller Balance and Brighten Foundation in regular. I went through one. If you follow me on Instagram or if you follow me here on YouTube, I have talked about the one that I went through. It took me forever. It was in my makeup bag for work and I went through that. I'm working on my second one in my makeup work bag. Work makeup bag. What's the right way to say that? I'm working on my second one in my work makeup bag, and this is the third one. So this one here is sitting in my vanity. I really do like this foundation or this powder. This one is in regular, and it, the thing about this is it has yellow tones, it has brown, it has red. It just blends in with your skin really nicely. So when you put your brush into it, it looks like powder, but on your skin it ends up looking more like a cream liquid type foundation. They say they start out as a liquid, then a cream, and then a, and then they bake it into a powder. So these are really nice. Um, I've gotten all of mine off of QVC. I always get them in like Today Special Values or whatever. I think I might have even gotten one off of eBay. I love this, especially for work, because at work I don't want anything to look heavy on my skin, and this does not look heavy. It just does a really nice job of kind of blurring out some of my dark spots and imperfections. And when I sweat throughout the day or whatever, it just wears really nicely. It doesn't leave like a line where it might have sweated off or it doesn't, it just wears really nicely. So that's the main reason I like this. I love this, especially for work. So this is something I have repurchased and I will repurchase it again when I run out of number three, but it took me forever to run out of number one. So that it may be a while. My second powder here is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. This one is in Silky Beige. This is just something that's easy to set anything, you know, set your foundation or whatever. It's just a really nice powder, very um, finely milled, just a really nice powder. The only thing I do not like about this is the lid, you know, the whole. The only thing I do not like about this is the lid. The whole packaging situation could be a little better because this is not something you can throw in your makeup bag and you know take on the go because it'll fall out and you know, whatever. This is something that sits in my vanity and I reuse it all the time just to set. If I need something really quick to set my foundation, I like to use this powder. But um, like I said, the whole packaging situation could be a lot better. Just doesn't 
It doesn't, I mean, it doesn't lock. Okay. The last thing I'm going to talk about, and I know there are probably other products that I could look over here on my vanity and be like, hey, that's my second purchase. Um, or I've made many purchases of those. But these are products that I really recommend to you guys. And the last thing is the Smashbox Halo Foundation. So I have already used one complete foundation. And this is my second one. This here is in hydrating perfecting powder and medium so the nice thing about this is it's kind of that bare minerals type thing or it's that mineral makeup type thing but you turn the dial and it will shred or it will um, shave the top layer and you'll get the powder inside the top so then you can just dip your brush in and put it all over your face this is a really good it's very much comparable to the Laura Geller balance and brighten um, this here has more of a hydrating feel to it. it. They say it's like got water or something in it. I don't know. It's the whole thing where it starts out as a powder, but on your face it ends up creamy. This here, I can only use though mainly in the winter time because it is a little bit too emollient for me in the summer. But this is the second one I own. I've already gone through one full one. It took me while a long time to use that first one and this is before I became such a makeup hoarder that I had these products so um, you know I haven't gone through this one as quickly or I wouldn't even say the first one was quickly but the first one I used like daily and I I <laughs> I used daily and it took me forever to use it and this one I haven't used in a while but it is a product that I have repurchased I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget if you like me give me a big old thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and talk to you guys later so this is like something that I've repurchased and if I run out of these two, I'll probably leave. This is something I've repurchased and if I run out of these two, I will re... I cannot say that. There's a... That's kind of the... That's kind of an exception to the rule. There are other items that I could probably re... or purchase and that, you know...